Say hi, Scout. Hi. We're coming up on Memorial Day weekend here in the north, and uh, it's been a little while since I've had the car out for a drive, so I thought we would get out and see how uh, things are doing. So we're just gonna do a quick update. Uh, we are in uh, northern Minnesota, so this will be a uh, small town, rural drive, uh, on city streets, and we're gonna particularly focus on uh, stoplights for this drive. If you guys hear some noise in the car, that is my dog. He is trying to stay cool on this warm day. I'm gonna give the car a little accelerator, just to encourage it to go. There we go, and we're on our way. So the first uh, intersection that we'll be taking is a four-way stop, and we'll see how the car performs for this. We do have traffic coming in from all four approaches into the intersection. And just off camera, there's a car on the left side. Yeah, my car is creeping forward, creeping forward. Okay, so it took a little long there to go through the intersection. I did hit the accelerator for it to go. For the most part, uh, driving through intersections hasn't been a problem for it. Uh, Four-way stops, it, it does do a pretty good job keeping track of uh, cars approaching the intersection and taking its turn. So. Not sure uh, why it was confused at that point. I think there's a car blocking the camera on the left-hand side, so it really didn't see what uh, what direction we were, the traffic was coming from, what the order of traffic was. So we're gonna be making a left-hand turn at this intersection. Again, we come to a full stop. Car on the right of the intersection has the right-of-way. We're creeping into the intersection, and uh, we're, we're kind of going. I'm gonna take over at that point. Uh, it was my turn, the other cars were waiting for me, so. Uh, we've got it back into full self-driving now. So we've had two failed uh, intersections and now we're in uh, a, turn, a, a lane which is actually not a lane. Let's see if I can get the car to go over with full self-driving. So somehow got confused there as well. We'll go through a series of stoplights here uh, going into uh, the first of the city streets. So off of the freeway four-lane driving. I do have a, a car behind us and there's enough space for it to make this change to maintain speed so that was pretty smooth. It's pretty well done. As we arrive at the end of this freeway we are going to be making a right turn so I would expect the car to merge into the right lane or make a lane change to the right lane uh, to proceed on the route. Um, it's coming up on some traffic here which is uh, going slowly through the intersection, so I think it's appropriate that it stays in the left lane uh, for this portion of it. But I'm going to wait for it to make a change, and here we go. Signals a change, and it makes it. Everything very well done, very well. There's a speed zone change there, so the car did decrease uh, speed down to 45. And that is actually a fail. We're going to report that. So that was not a lane, that was actually uh, the shoulder of the road. And the car wanted to get into that as if it was the turn lane. So I restarted autopilot, full self-driving. We do not have a stop sign there, so I'm hitting the accelerator to encourage it to go through. A lot of hesitation right there. I will be making a left turn, again, unprotected intersection. There's one stop sign on the other side of this, it's coming towards us, and our car came to complete stop. It should just flow right through this intersection. So I'm gonna hit the accelerator, encourage it to go through. All right, now that we're back on our route, the car wants to stay at 35, which is good. Coming up on the first four-way stop. Correction, this is a, uh, a merge into stop. So there are actually two um, roads that come in at a Y and each has a stop sign uh, feeding into a single single road so I do see a parked car right here that's not moving so that's not a factor we do have our stop sign and the car does make a full stop as I would expect it to and then it proceeds through the intersection so everything's good and it moves into the right lane which is the follow-through lane going straight through the intersection 
four-way stop here. This is the first one. We've got a car coming into the intersection, making a left turn. So the car will wait for that vehicle to get through the intersection. Then it proceeds through no other traffic in the intersection, as you can see right here. So everything looked pretty good right there. All right, so coming up to our second four-way stop, the car is in the correct lane to go through the intersection, and we'll just follow this vehicle straight through. So we're coming up to the uh, third four-way stop and uh, we'll show traffic coming into the intersection here. All right, so we've got a three-way intersection, three-way stop, and proceed directly through there. The car's gonna creep forward before it goes, and we're gonna encourage it to go through right there. Okay, we're coming up on a four-way intersection, and we're going to be making a right-hand turn at this intersection. Do have traffic approaching the intersection from the left. And the car made the turn. So the car is following to the right side appropriately. This does split into two lanes, uh, the left lane being a left-hand turn at the intersection. It's a four-way stop. And the car is going to come up to that. We don't have any other traffic at this intersection except the truck behind us. And we're waiting, we're waiting. Okay, so the car did go through the intersection just fine. It did take a little longer than I would have uh, given the vehicle behind us and no other traffic in the intersection. But I do uh, give the car credit for making a full stop at the intersection. That was, that was good from a traffic control standpoint. We're gonna be making a left-hand turn up here. The car does navigate into the left turn lane. And again, we are at a four-way intersection. All right, so the car comes into the intersection. We're going to see if it makes it through here. So we've got, actually, that car was behind us, and he made the turn because of our hesitancy. And we've got some kids here at a lemonade stand, and my car picked it up as a pedestrian. And this is the final four-way intersection that we will go through. So the car does stop appropriately. It's creeping forward. Do have the car on the left-hand side waiting for us. And that is it for our trip. All right, so this drive focused on a couple of things. We focused intensively on four-way intersection stops. Uh, we did some freeway driving and we did some city street driving. Overall, the navigation was pretty good. I felt like the car followed the route appropriately, although it did have a couple of hiccups. And in terms of stop signs and, and intersections, I felt that it got a little confused at times. There were a few intersections where it didn't read the, the correct order of uh, vehicles going through the intersection. And uh, when it did start to creep forward to go through the intersection, some of the other cars that were waiting for us uh, proceeded through the intersection ahead of their turn. So the car does have a little bit of work before four-way intersections operate smoothly from a full self-driving standpoint. That's all I have for this video today. I want to thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.